Hey, what's up, geeks? Deron Brown here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to export PDFs in your React Native application. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is because um, I'm actually I actually built this already for a um, company that I'm building an app for, and it took me a while to figure it out. And I actually had to reach out to um, a few other developers. We all brainstormed to figure it out, but um, yeah, I'm just going to share that with you guys. So first off, we're going to do. I'm going to grab this. Terminal, type in the command yarn, add, add that dependency. Now that we've actually um, installed React Native HTML to PDF, we're going to install React Native Print. So let's go grab that and add, type in yarn, add. React Native Print. Now let's change our directory to iOS. Clear that out. Usually I'll make this cover up the whole screen, but uh, for whatever reason I forgot. So once you're in the iOS directory, we're going to type in the command pod install. Okay, cool. So I'm going to restart my server as well. Now I'm cache clean. Now let's start it back up. And in Xcode, we're going to stop this. We're going to clean our build folder. Okay, let me make sure. Uh, and everything look the way that it should look. Okay, PDF printer, this in there. Oh, wait. All right. So, hopefully, that actually was installed. So, now I'm going to go to my. Uh, let me start the start it up again. Okay, now I have the application uh, running on my simulator. So now let's start coding. An app.js file. Go ahead, just remove everything here. Create app.js. Bring in my style sheet from React Native. Styles equals stylesheet.create. Container. This is going to be flex one and the uh, line items is going to be center. And justify content is going to be center too. And then uh see that's cool and I'll just keep the background color I'll just make the background color white this is gonna be a pretty well I'm not sure it might be a long tutorial hopefully it's not too long all right so I'm gonna add that style that we just created styles dot container reference constructor okay cool cool now we're going to create a button so let's import touchable opacity touchable opacity nothing special text we're going to Say button text. And the font size is going to be 30. And I'm going to say uh, open PDF printer. Right. Passing the style. Style. Let's 
style stock. Button text. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the documentation. The documentation, what does it say? I don't need to do any kind of manual linking. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import these two libraries that we installed. Cool. And now I'm going to create, I don't need this select printer. I'm going to create, which one do I want? One second, so actually I already have this completed. So the one I want is print PDF. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to paste that in there, just like that. I'm going to say const. Cut that out. OK, cool. Now it's looking good. So everything's looking the way I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and um, reference this function so on press say print PDF so now okay see our printer opened up just what we want to do so the reason I'm putting this together is because when you when you have like a PDF within your application you're going to want to dynamically create an HTML file and this is where I got stuck at because how do you dynamically create a, a HTML file? You can't just add a JavaScript to your um, HTML like you would for your React Native components. So I had to get a little creative and then um, I know that this would be helpful to a lot of uh, mobile developers because there was nothing, no kind of solution to this on the internet. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to create some dummy data. So dummy data right here, this is going to be our, um, well first let me add this, uh, our HTML actually. So I'm going to add this HTML that I've already created. I'm going to place it with this right here. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. So back to that and then Add it. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. You already saw that part, but whatever. Now, this is what we're gonna do. You can see we already have our um, our HTML boiler point, and we have our uh, our table. And we want to get some table rows. So let me give you guys an idea how that's going to look. We're going to use. We're going to create a table row, and that's going to have. It's uh, descriptions. It's just looking ugly right now because it's not in the HTML file. So let me clean that up. Okay. Cool. Let me make sure this is ended one more time. Okay, cool. So what you basically what we want to do we're going to pass in I'm going to add one more table description all right so basically what we're going to do is pass in our data so we can say like right now we have this is what I have from the company I'm going to say first name I'll say last name say phone number now let me click this button what you see is that we see our headers we have our first name last name and our phone number now I'm gonna go ahead and add some data I'm gonna add to Ron I'm going to add uh, Brown and then I'm going to say phone numbers 555, 555, 555. Feel free to call me. Add that in there. And now you can see that's showing up. 
and how do we dynamic how do we do this dynamically so we're going to go ahead and do we're going to scroll to the top of our component and I'm going to create a empty variable and this is going to be called what should we call it uh, people people data oh I'll just now say contacts contact list All right this is gonna be empty array and I'm also gonna add some dummy data so this is gonna be our data this is gonna equal an array of objects So we have a key, which is first name. It's going to be Deron. We got one that's okay. Last name. It's going to be Brown. Next is phone number. Alright, that's going to be 555-555-555. We're going to do the same thing for other objects. Let's say, uh, I don't have any friends. Let me just make up. Well, actually, it's my boy, sorry. Kevon Patterson. We got the same number. I'll say, uh, Mike. Wallace, and then I'll say uh, Devante Adams. I'm not sure if I spelled that right. But this is the Packers receiver from the same neighborhood. Ironically, I remember when we were kids, he was way I mean, he's way younger than me. But anyway, this is another discussion. So um, yeah, so we have our dummy data. Now we're going to add our. We already have our contact list array. What we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to grab our um, our data. We're going to say data dot map. We're going to say uh, contact contact. What we're going to do, we're going to create an HTML. So it's going to say our HTML. Set this equal to back takes we're going to go ahead I'm going to take out what I have here so we're going to grab our table row we'll paste that in there just like that clean it up So from our contact, we're going to get our contact that first name. Copy this. Last name and phone number. Okay. Cool. So that's looking good. And lastly, once we have that, we're going to get our contact list. And then we're going to push our HTML into our contact list. All right, so if I go ahead and I console log, it's our contact list. And awesome. And I'm going to turn on our debugger by pressing, well, by running the command, command D, click on debugger. Now remote debuggers in the background. Now let's see if I can get this remote debugger. Oh, 
okay. So now I have my debugger running. As you can see, we're getting our data list. You can see that it's actually coming through, it's getting added. You see um, Deron, Keevan, Patterson, and um, Devante. So that's awesome, we got that showing. So now, next, what we're gonna do is that we're going to pass this data. So we have our contact list. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to within our PDF async, we're gonna pass our data and we're gonna reference it right between our body tag. And we're gonna say, so the dollar sign, we're gonna say data dot join. The reason we're doing this join is because it's going to remove um, right now you can see we have like these commas it's going to remove these commas so um, that's basically what it's going to do it's going to join the array all right now lastly what else do we have to do Oh, one more thing I forgot. So this is what I have to do. Right now, we have to create another function titled generate const. Can't type const generate HTML. We're going to return. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our uh, HTML. Grab that. We're going to return it right here. And this is where we're actually going to pass our uh, our data right here. So, and then we're going to reference our function generate HTML. We're going to pass in our uh, contact list, just like that. All right, cool. So everything looks good. Save this. Go back to our simulator. As you can see, now we have our, our contact list. So I know that this is helpful for people who have a, who have a feature that they're working on that involves uh, exporting PDFs because you don't have too many options with React Native, but this is basically the best option. And when you want to generate those PDFs, you want to do it dynamically. You don't want it to be static where it just doesn't change. So this is just the way that you would do that. And um, this is probably over the head for uh, some of my beginners because uh, this is a more of a, an advanced feature. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.